Quantum physics, with its mind-bending principles and perplexing phenomena, has been an enigma for scientists and philosophers alike. It has revolutionized our understanding of the microscopic world, challenging the classical notions of reality. In this video, we delve into the captivating world of quantum physics and explore the profound questions it raises about the nature of reality. From the baffling double-slit experiment to the concept of wave functions and the measurement problem, we unravel the mysteries that lie at the heart of quantum physics. The double-slit experiment, pioneered by Thomas Young in the early 19th century, serves as a cornerstone in understanding the wave-like nature of light. Young's experiment demonstrated that light behaves as both a particle and a wave, contradicting Isaac Newton's corpuscular theory of light. In modern quantum form, this experiment involves directing individual particles, such as photons or electrons, through two slits in an opaque barrier and observing the resulting interference pattern on a screen. Common sense would suggest that particles should pass through one slit or the other and accumulate behind each slit. However, what actually transpires is a remarkable phenomenon known as interference. Instead of behaving like classical particles, the photons or electrons exhibit wave-like behavior and create alternating bands of light and dark on the screen. This interference pattern arises due to the interaction of the particle's wave functions. In quantum physics, the wave function plays a crucial role in describing the behavior of particles. It is an abstract mathematical function that represents the quantum state of a particle, including its position, momentum, and other properties. The wave function behaves like a wave, spreading out and interfering with itself when passing through the double slits. Mathematically, the wave function describes the probabilities of finding a particle at different positions. The interference pattern observed on the screen corresponds to regions of constructive and destructive interference, where the wave functions combine to enhance or cancel each other out. However, when a measurement is made, the wave function collapses, and the particle is found at a specific position. The measurement problem in quantum physics has been a subject of intense debate and speculation. It revolves around the question of why wave functions collapse upon measurement and what constitutes a measurement in the quantum realm. Several interpretations have been proposed to explain this perplexing phenomenon. One widely known interpretation is the Copenhagen interpretation, developed by Niels Bohr and his colleagues. According to this view, the collapse of the wave function occurs only when observed or measured by a conscious observer. However, this interpretation raises philosophical and conceptual issues, as it fails to provide a concrete explanation for the nature of reality and the role of consciousness. The Many Worlds interpretation, proposed by Hugh Everett in the 1950s, offers an alternative perspective on quantum reality. According to this interpretation, the wave function never collapses but continues to evolve, branching into multiple parallel universes or worlds with each possible outcome of an event. In this view, every observation or measurement gives rise to a new universe, encompassing all the different possibilities. The Many Worlds interpretation provides a coherent explanation for the interference patterns observed in the double-slit experiment. Rather than particles going through both slits simultaneously, they traverse different branches of the multiverse, creating interference patterns. This interpretation eliminates the need for consciousness to collapse the wave function and offers a more comprehensive framework for understanding quantum phenomena. Pilot wave theory, also known as the de Broglie-Bohm theory, presents yet another perspective on the nature of reality in quantum physics. This theory suggests that particles possess both wave-like and particle-like properties. It proposes the existence of a guiding wave, which determines the trajectory of particles as they pass through the double slits. Unlike the Copenhagen interpretation or the many worlds interpretation, pilot wave theory does not require the collapse of the wave function or invoke consciousness. Instead, particles follow well-defined paths guided by the pilot wave, which undergoes interference and determines the final position of the particle on the screen. Experimental evidence, albeit controversial, supports the existence of these trajectories and challenges the notion of wave function collapse. Collapse theories provide yet another perspective on the measurement problem. These theories propose that wave function collapse occurs randomly, 
independent of observation or measurement. The probability of collapse increases with the number of particles involved in the quantum system. Experiments conducted by Marcus Arndt's team at the University of Vienna, involving larger and larger molecules passing through the double slits, have explored the collapse of wave functions. Surprisingly, interference patterns have been observed even with molecules consisting of more than 800 atoms. This challenges the notion that collapse is solely dependent on the mass of the particles and opens up new possibilities for understanding the nature of reality in quantum physics. Researchers like Roger Penrose have proposed that the threshold for wave function collapse depends on the mass of the objects involved. Penrose suggests that gravitational instabilities play a role in the collapse of superpositions. Experiments led by Dirk Baumeister at the University of California, Santa Barbara, aim to test Penrose's theory using a modified version of the double-slit experiment. By creating a superposition not only for photons passing through the slits but also for the position of one of the slits itself, Baumeister seeks to investigate whether the mass of the slits affects the collapse of the wave function. These experiments aim to shed light on the role of mass and gravity in the quantum world and provide further insights into the nature of reality. While various interpretations and theories attempt to explain the mysteries of quantum physics, the nature of reality remains a subject of ongoing debate and exploration. The double-slit experiment and its variations continue to challenge our understanding of the fundamental nature of particles and the fabric of the universe. As scientists delve deeper into the quantum realm, they strive to bridge the gap between quantum and classical physics, seeking a unified framework that encompasses both realms. By pushing the boundaries of experimentation and theoretical exploration, researchers hope to unravel the mysteries of quantum physics and gain a deeper understanding of the nature of reality itself. Conclusion Quantum physics stands as a testament to the complexity and awe-inspiring nature of our universe. From the double-slit experiment to the measurement problem and the various interpretations put forth, it is clear that quantum physics challenges our classical notions of reality. While the true nature of reality remains elusive, scientists and philosophers continue to explore the depths of quantum physics, seeking answers to the fundamental questions it poses. As we journey further into the quantum realm, we may uncover profound insights that not only reshape our understanding of the quantum world but also offer glimpses into the nature of reality itself.